Activist Ravi Balgobin Maharaj is calling today's success at the Privy Council a victory for democracy. When you look at the things that the PNM are being allowed to get away with, and you hear it from people on the ground, right? You see um, people say, you know, we want to remove, we want better representation, we want things done, we want roads fixed, we want crime to stop, we want all of these things to uh, happen, and the PNM just aren't doing it. So whenever an opportunity comes up and you see something that can be corrected and especially through the courts um i usually go to my legal team with the matters and ask them you know can we do something to at least give people a little bit of hope to give them a little bit of relief far from his first challenge balgobin miraj tells us he has another matter currently before the court but this one he says strikes at the heart of democracy people have been um awaiting the election and then they heard last year the last minute in november that you know it was going to be um extended by one year illegally and that's the reason that we take these matters to court and our track record proves that there's a legitimate reason that we take them to court because we keep winning these matters and really actually you need to ask the government and someone in government either mr rawi mr moore can answer as to why they keep losing these matters and why they keep doing things that infringe upon the constitutional rights of the citizens. We asked him how is it his legal team features many a UNC affiliated attorney. Team, I pick my legal team based on their experience, um, based on their knowledge and their ability to win cases. And as has been demonstrated time and time again, we have won every legal challenge we've mounted against the government. Um, I think the government might have a problem with it being UNT or, or thing, but really, actually, I think the main problem they have is that they keep losing cases. Balgwin Mirage tells us had the government been winning the challenges, no one would care who his lawyers are. Them, both past and present, in general, had a hand in this case, and both of them came out only losing and of it. I think that's an embarrassment to the government, and I think it shows exactly how they are conducting themselves improperly as the court consistently rules against everything that they do. And I think they need to take a look at that and figure out why it is they can't get a ruling in their favor. Is Ravi Balgobin Maharaj a functionary of the opposition UNC? I am not a UNC activist. I am a, I am a social activist. I'm a political activist. I'm independent of any body or institution. People um, keep these um titles on to me but i do not represent the unc nor am i affiliated with any um arm of the unc he tells us he expects the prime minister to make an announcement within the next few days after having officers sit illegally for five months in local government bodies they, they, they have been there illegally they've been spending money out of the public place illegally right there has been no um no recourse for any of the actions that they have taken in the past five months and i think that is something that we also need to look at but as for what happens now it's in the government's hands um the courts can order them to have an election within a specific amount of time and that order should come within two weeks but really and truly i think the government needs to take the initiative call an election as soon as possible the activist says the division at the Privy Council was due to the matter being complicated in nature. However, he supports the Privy Council as this country's highest court of appeal. Ravishi Tawari, Rubnarain, TV6 News.